Lord. Good evening, 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 Yes, Lord Jesus. How y'all doing this evening? You talking about? Yes, Lord. You know, this he is authentic or nothing. And I've been saying I'm chicken coated all day. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And I almost did it just now. <laughs> I, oh, I got the hiccups, Lord Jesus. Let me catch a drink. Let me talk about. Ooh, yes, Lord. Now, those who come here, you talking about, already know how I like to do about this here time. You talking about. And that's pray for this kingdom family of mine. Pray for our family and all those who are in need. Yes, indeed. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the day that you have made. We thank you for every day that you have let us see. We thank you for every day that you have let us breathe. We thank you for every day that you have cast your face upon us, Lord Jesus. We are your seeds. You are that solid, fertile soil that we are planted in. We are planted in you, Lord Jesus. We give you all of the glory and admiration. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for going before us, fighting our battles, removing all blockages, obstructions, and obstacles. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your righteous right hand cuffing us so that we can get some rest in the palm of your hand. We plead your precious blood over us and all that concerns us. And we come into agreement with your plans over us and our family. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Ooh, yes, Lord. Now, the title, you talking about the thumbnail. As you can see, and I can see. Listen, I wish I could put this in braille. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. So you can feel me. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, this here is authentic or nothing. And I had a good word. You know what I'm talking about? See, this is a this this is a good word as well. You know what I'm talking about? You know, but the other ones. You know, they needed to come out. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, I don't know. The one, I'm going to chop it up. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, let it explain itself. You know what I'm talking Because, you know, his precious blood speaks volumes for us. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, just like the Tyler says, good versus evil. You know what I'm talking about? We fight this battle daily. We fight it in our sleep. You know what I'm talking about? That's why we ask for the Lord to give us strength. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. So that we can overcome these things. You know what I'm talking about? And when we ask him to give us strength, that's when he takes special notice and favor. You know what I'm talking about? That's what having a relationship with him will do for you. You know what I'm talking about? Because he'll say, be still. You know what I'm talking about? I got this. I am God alone. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. There is none like him. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. I get happy. I get enthused. I get, you know, just uplifted, full of joy when I talk about our Father God. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, that's what he wants for us. He wants us to spread his gospel. For generations to come, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. We hold him in high honor, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. Listen. Good and evil, you know what I'm talking about? Just like I say with my analogy, you know what I'm talking about? About the battery, you know what I'm talking about? We are in that middle point, you know what I'm talking about? Those who pray and stay prayed up about their salvation. We about Father's business. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, can I get a witness? You know what I'm talking about? 
Yes, Lord. You know, as we pray to him and say to him, help us. Come on. Help my family. Help my wife. Help my children. Come on. Yes, Lord Jesus. Help all those true destiny help us. I'm talking about help all your angels that you send to come and take charge over us and help us fight these battles in the spirit. I'm talking about yes, Lord Jesus. He loves to hear it. I'm talking about because he all, you know, like I said, it's kind of a pet peeve of, of mine when I see people you know, deny the fact that he's already here. You know what I'm talking about? Because he just wants to see what we are going to do. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Lord, I'll be glad when you come back. He tapping you on your shoulder like, where did I go? I'm always with you. You know what I'm talking about? Blessings, blessings, blessings. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, this he is authentic or nothing. You know, and while he tapping you on that shoulder, you got to make sure that you are aware in the spirit so that you can feel him, so that you can hear him, so that you can see him. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. He loves having visitations with his children. You know what I'm talking about? That's why we seek his face diligently. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. You know, they hate to hear the truth, you know what I'm talking about, because we do get a little unsugarcoated up in this giant, you know what I'm talking about? But you know what? God led you here. He led you here. So you are here. Once one or two are gathered, we are having church, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, people be afraid to speak the truth of what's really going on because they want to fit in to these little groups and different things like that. Y'all know what's going on. You know what I'm talking about, yes, Lord Jesus. But his true children, they stand out. We, you know, we gonna speak about it no matter if anybody come or not. You know what I'm talking about? Because one of these words is gonna touch somebody to trigger them and that's gonna cause a domino effect. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, you know, a lot of people don't want to give you your respect. You know what I'm talking about? Paperwork or not. You know talking about? A lot of these joints, they got a whole bunch of people running in, rushing in there. They ain't even got no paperwork on it. They just know the Bible. You know what I'm talking about? They can quote a lot of scriptures. You know what I'm talking about? But, you know, we, we ain't even worried about none of that. This is authentic or nothing. He put this together, not me. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not here for a crowd. You know what I'm talking about? I'm here for the Lord. And that's what you came here for. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, bless you. You know what I'm talking about? That's what you came here for. You came seeking the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't come here for no crowd, I know. Forget who's in the show. You know what I'm talking about? God's in full control up in this giant. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. We ain't come here for no fashion show. This is not, <laughs> this is not a fashion show. This is a way of life. This is a way that he has been molding me to be. You know what I'm talking about? To be prayerful. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's what a lot of people go to church for. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, brother so-and-so got on the suit. Brother so-and-so got on some tennis shoes and some jeans. Sister so-and-so got on a short skirt. She, sister so-and-so got her head undid and, and, and got her hair down and lipstick and carrying on. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't here for none of that. We here for God. You talking about? Yes, Lord. We are not the judge. He is. You talking about? We have to pray for our salvation, the salvation of our loved ones, like our wives and our husbands and our children. We're not here for none of that. That that's karmic mess. You talking about? That's things of the devil. They glorifying things of the world when they do things like that. He said, come as you are. We came in this world butt naked. You come out? Yes, Lord. Did, did you come out with some Gucci on? You come out? Yes, Lord Jesus. 
you know, this is authentic or nothing. And see, they don't like when, you know, they find people like me that will speak the truth and be joyous about the Lord and his word. You talking about that's the difference between good and evil. You talking about, see, they will smite me for not falling into line with them. You talking about, and you know, I ain't about that. You talking about, he got me on a whole nother schedule. You know I'm talking about, yes, Lord Jesus. And I thank him. You see, earlier, I'm going to explain something to you. Earlier, something happened where I did a live on a word that he had put in me that I had been putting off. I had been putting it off for about a week and a half. You know talking about, and tonight, or earlier this evening, I went on ahead and put it out. You know what I'm talking about? And when I put it out, you know how the joint is. You know what I'm talking about? That live was full of interference. It was going in and out. You see how crispy, clear, and, and stream food this is? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. It happens when I put out a word that he wants to be heard that is very important to my life and my future. You know what I'm talking about? You see, the devil don't want you to have a future. He wants to be able to control your life. But when you tear up those evil contracts that he has in his face and you stomp them hoes, that's when he you attempt to put up roadblocks. You know what I'm talking about? That was a roadblock. This is something, the same thing like I just got through explaining on part two of that live, which came out smooth. You know what I'm talking about? The first part was full of information. You know what I'm talking about? Full of wisdom. You know what I'm talking about? But it kept jumping in and out, in and out. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Somewhat like that, I believe. You know what I'm talking about? I, you know, I, I don't know yet. You know what I'm talking about? I'm learning. I'm studying something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And we're going to figure it out. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to get down to the bottom of it. They shouldn't have did that. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, this is authentic or nothing. And we ain't, woo, yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord Jesus. So, you know, in that second word, you know what I'm saying, that I put out about that situation, you know, about marriage. You know what I'm talking about? This is the same thing that happened when I asked my very special person, person that I say I love every day. You know what I'm talking about? And not only do I say it, you know, you can tell by my energy. I mean business. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And I know that she feels the same. And I know that people been playing a lot of games. You talking about? That's the difference between good and evil. You talking about? But, you know, we know what's going on because the good Lord, he illuminates things. You talking about? And as he does that, you know, we can't thank him enough. And that's what the next live on that journey, you're talking about on that channel, you're talking about we can't thank him enough for separating us from those evil people, those distractions, those roadblocks, those sabotagers. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, this here is authentic or nothing. And we're going to get into some script. You know what I'm talking about? Because just like I said on that live, you know, I said, the one that was they was messing with, I said that I was going to get into some script on that live, but it's tripped out so much that I'm like, didn't get a chance to do that. You know what I'm talking about? And those who know, who come here, you know, we get it in. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. We get it in over there as well. And the, the, the word that came to me when I was sitting there pondering and meditating on this word was I did get some script in, but it was off the top of my head, you know what I'm talking about, and it was off of something that happened earlier, you, you see how God turns evil for our good, listen at this, this, this is my day, I did a live on TikTok earlier, and it was a word that he had me to put out to be able to guide some people into the right situations, you know what I'm talking about, to be able to better their lives, to be able to create legacies, you know I'm talking about? To be able to to obtain generational wealth off of what I told them this morning, this afternoon. 
Damn, you know what you talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. He in the house. <laughs> you know what you talking about? Listen. So, as I was doing that and I was getting ready to close, I'm explaining this again, you know what I'm talking about? As I was getting ready to close off of that word, then I asked for some script. You talking about he put me into that next word because he was being very adamant that I explained, you know, my view, my point of view. You talking about on different things. You talking about on that situation about marriage. You talking about marriage is very sacred. You talking about and. He don't play no games about that because God loves family. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, so, you know, he had me. I, I attempted to put it how I, I thought he wanted me to put it. If I had thought that he wanted me to just run it on that life, then I would have did that. But, you know, I chopped it up because I didn't want anything to get confused in the messages. You know what I'm talking about? Because it's dealing with two different things. But if you think about it, it's dealing with the same thing. You know what I'm talking about? Because this is what I want for our family, for me and my wife and our children. You know what I'm talking about? So, like I said, you know, you practice what you preach. And this is, you know, something that, you know, I take this word for myself as well. You know what I'm talking about? I take that word. I take all the words that I put out for myself because I wouldn't put it out if it was going to be hurtful for someone else because then I couldn't accept it. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You see, a lot of people that preach, they won't do that. They they will manipulate things. You know what I'm talking about? That's why you have to watch where you're getting your words from. You know what I'm talking about? I, I had to learn that as well. You know what I'm talking about? That's why he put me here doing this. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. He said, boy, you got it too. You talking about? So what you going to do? Just like you. You got it too. You talking about? That's what I was just saying when you came in. You talking about? We got a lot of people that be like, oh, yeah, I'm waiting on the Lord. He is already with you. He ain't never left you. You just choose not to see him by the things that you do, the way that you be. You don't tell him So what you should say is, Lord, open up my eyes. You don't tell him Lord, open up my eyes so that you can see him. You don't tell him He's been with us before we were born. He knew us before the womb, right? <laughs> you don't tell him He going to know us past the tomb. As he takes us on home to be in eternal life with him, with Christ. You know talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, you, <laughs> I, I don't know who else is on here, but they must need Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? And they came to the right spot. We welcome everybody. You know what I'm talking about? You know, even we have those monitoring spirits, but we welcome everybody to receive a word from the Lord. Maybe this will run the demon about them, John. You talking about? Yes, Lord. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, hold on. Give me a second. You know, maybe, maybe it will help them out, you know what I'm talking about, in a good way, you know what I'm talking about, because we came here to pray and praise his holy name, you know what I'm talking about, yes, Lord Jesus, you know, we energize him, just like that battery situation that I speak on, you know what I'm talking about, we energize him when we speak his name, we speak him into existence with persistence, you know what I'm talking about, yes, Lord Jesus, and he loves to hear it, you know what I'm talking about. That's why he gives me so much joy. You know, about that's why I'll be happy. I'll be smiling. I'll be cheesy. You know, and people with darkness inside of them, 
they hate to see that. That's why they attack. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, what you smiling about? You happy before breakfast looking? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I am. I'm happy he woke me up again. You know what I'm talking about? And I seen a little video. It was like some talking on it. You know what I'm saying? He said, be the type of person that when your feet hit the flow in the morning, the devil say, oh, Lord. You know what I'm talking about? We make the devil holler at the Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. He's like, man, let's join up again. Yes, Lord. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. He wants us to be joyous. He wants us to be happy. You know what I'm talking about? We serve a good God. You talking about? Yes, Lord. You talking about? You know, there's a time to play and it's a time to slay. You talking about? So, you know, I also heard this other video. I'm talking about this dude. How you know what? I don't know. Really, I, I've attempted to speak to him. I, I told him, God bless you and everything. You talking about? It's an older gentleman, but he like. He wants to be funny. You know what I'm talking about? And I can see that. He trying too hard, though. But, you know, some of that stuff is kind of vulgar, and I might block him. You know what I'm talking about? I might block him because, you know, it ain't my portion. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I've, I've become a, really a lot more PG. You know what I'm talking about? Even though I go through a lot of rated Zs. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, and pass ours. You talking about? Yes, Lord. You know, so you know, I'm like, man, you know, we have to watch what we intake in our brain. You talking about the type of people that we interact with, all that stuff. You know, talking about, we have to be mindful of these things. You talking about because these things can block blessings. You talking about, you know, and we just, you know, want to be on the latter side. With the Lord, you know what I'm talking about? That's that good versus evil. You know what I'm talking about? It's a lot of evil going on in this here world, you know what I'm talking about? That, you know, we pray against it, you know what I'm talking about? But we also have to be diligent and not interact with it. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. And it's going to attack us. That that's a given, you know what I'm talking about? And it that's why we pray for his protection. That's why we plead his precious blood over us and all that concerns us. You know what I'm talking about? And when I mean all that concerns us, like people like you, you came through. You know what I'm talking about? To hear a good word from the Lord, to get uplifted. This here is an uplifting channel. You know what I'm talking about? I pray that whatever I said gave you a little bit of joy. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. You know, it gives me joy just knowing that I can help somebody else. You know what I'm talking about? That's my payment right there because God going to bless me. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't need to ask you for no tithes. You know what I'm talking about? He going to provide. He always does. You know what I'm talking about? That's faith in our Father. He always comes through for us. You know what I'm talking about? You go, yes, we need more people to spread the word. You know what I'm talking about? You go to any of the other places. You know what I'm talking about? They ain't going to tell you nothing like that. You know what I'm talking about? You know what they're going to tell you? They're going to start, if they know anything about you, they're going to run and start, you know, so and so, so, so. <laughs> yeah, yes, Lord. <laughs> that, that's, that's what they do. You can see it clear. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, we talk more about God on this here channel and Pretty much all the other channels you're talking about. We talk about a few different things on the other channels, but, you know, it's always pertaining and leading up to our father. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord, because he takes us father. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. We hold his hands tightly as we walk uprightly in his light. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. You know, we going to get into some script and then let it rip. You know what I'm talking about? Because then I got to go take that trip. You know what I'm talking about? And he he been having me have some good dreams. You talking about? I mean, I, the the other day I was dreaming. I was sleep within an hour. Within this one hour, I had three different dreams, and all three of them joints was good. You talking about? And I was like, whoa! You talking 
I'm talking about, so I was prepared to go back to the, you know, get that, I'm like, man, let me see some more, Lord Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? Because, you know, when he have you have good dreams, you know what I'm talking about? We need to cherish those moments because we go through so much warfare. You know what I'm talking about? The devil loves to infiltrate your dream life. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what happened the week before. You know what I'm talking about? The devil attempted to, you know, manipulate in my dream life. You know what I'm talking about? But the discernment that I had inside that dream, like I said, I kept, hey, come here, come here. You know, to the person that I was seeing, I said, come here, come here. Let me see you. You know what I'm talking about? The joint kept on bagging up and bagging up. He's got the smile and he carrying on till they poof, turned into a black poof of smoke. That was the devil. The devil is alive. You talking about? And the Lord is alive. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Ooh. Yes, Lord. <laughs> okay. That's cool. You talking about? Have that. You talking about? Yes, Lord. You know, we're going to be here for a few more minutes. You talking about? I, I like to stretch them out for at least a buck. You know what I'm talking about? That way you can get some meat out the deal. You know what I'm talking about? Because we are off the training wheels. You know what I'm talking about? That's the milk stage. You know what I'm talking about? We into the substance, the solids. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Because he's walking with us all the way through. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. That's what our father would do. He's going to see us through. You know what I'm talking about? Woo! Lord Jesus, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell our people? Yo, chillin', Lord Jesus. Give us a good one like you always do. Let these scripts help me. Let them help someone else through. This has really helped me. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Listen. <laughs> he, he love put me on the spot. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. And he did that earlier. You know he put me in the book of Solomon and he had me speaking about marriage. What you talking about? You know, what God put together may no man or no woman break apart. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what these people intend to do. You know what I'm talking about? But like I just got through saying, God going to see us all the way through. And they going to, ooh, you know talking about? Yes, Lord. And that would be a part of my life. <laughs> you talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. As far as they can get. Knowing about it. Where you gotta say? Where you gotta say? Where you gotta say it? Because it's so what if they know? You know what I'm talking about? So what? What they gonna do about it? What they doing? So why are you gonna hold up? Why are you gonna stop? Why are you gonna let them spoil your joy? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. I ain't going, me, mm -mm, never have. <laughs> you know I ain't going. Listen, he cast us off into Jeremiah 25 on verse 31. And in Jeremiah 27, that on verse 4, but y'all already know the scope. You know what I'm talking about? We're running this giant. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. Listen, it says, the clamor will surround to the ends of the earth. For the Lord has indictment against the nations. You know why? Because church be tripping. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. He says, he is entering into judgment with all flesh. And the wicked he will put to the sword, says the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? That sword of heaven is swooping down, you know what I'm talking about? See, we are just messengers, you know what I'm talking about? They ain't got to listen. You know, if you come, you've been here before, Ely. You know what I'm talking about? Enjoy that feel like, I ain't got to stop. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't got to quit. You know what I'm talking about? I, I, uh, uh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. See, it's authentic or nothing. And I, you know, I ain't, I don't want to be too graphic, but you know how it happens. You talking about listen. 
And, and I, you know, I really don't like putting out these words, but you know, when you're being obedient, you got to do it. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. It says, thus says the Lord of hosts, behold, evil is gone forth from the nation to nation. You know what I'm talking about? It is. You know what I'm talking about? That's an evil spirit hopping on people. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I say, you know what I'm saying? You know, we into ministry. You know what I'm talking about? We don't want to be putting our hands on people. And this is the reason why. Because an unclean spirit can jump out on you and tempt you. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. That's why I said, you know, me and my partner, me and my wife, you know what I'm talking about? If we both doing the same thing for Christ, you know what I'm talking about? I want her to be right by my side if I am. I would be forced to lay my hands on somebody by God. You know what I'm talking about? I, I don't touch people because I see what that can do. You know what I'm talking about? And you shouldn't have everybody touching on you as well. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, that's a part of, of you know, a deliverance where you send an energy, but you also have to remember energy can come back you know what I'm talking about yes Lord Jesus battery effect positive negative you know what I'm talking about good or bad you know what I'm talking about yes Lord Jesus that's why you you ever been to I, I'll give you an example I, I was at the mall a long time ago I think I was like probably 14, 15, and the mall was crowded. And all I kept on thinking in my mind was like, man, I don't want nobody to touch me. You know what I'm talking about? And sure enough, a joint touched me. You know what I'm talking about? And I, I got mad. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, man, this joint. See, that was the demon that they had on them that jumped off on me. You know what I'm talking about? And I didn't know how to fight that. Didn't nobody tell me none of that stuff. By 14, 15, you know what I'm talking about? My grandmother had passed who raised me. You know what I'm talking about? And it was just my great-grandmother. And she was going in and out of dementia. You know what I'm talking about? And I hadn't been in church with them since 10. So four years had passed. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, some of that teaching wasn't really registering with me while I'm out running the streets. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm glad he kept his he kept his hands on me. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. To get me to where I am today, where I'm back, where I pray. You know what I'm talking about? Profusely. You know what I'm talking about? This is the most I prayed in my whole life these last four years. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Yeah, God bless everyone. You know what I'm talking about? Thank you. Same to you. God bless you and your family as well. You know what I'm talking about? Listen, says, something just happened. <laughs> you talking about something just happened? Says, and a great tempest is stirring from the farthest parts of the earth. And those slain by the Lord on that day shall extend from one end of the earth to the other. They shall not be laminated or gathered or buried. They shall be dung on the surface of the ground. Wail, you shepherds, and cry, and roll in ashes, you lords of flocks. You know, that's these evil people, you know what I'm talking about, that, you know, self-appointed themselves as God because they can speak the words out the Bible. You know what I'm talking about? It says, for the day of your slaughter and desertion have come, and you shall fall like choice rams. You know, who, who, who they were sacrificing? God's sheep, the sheep of his flock. You know what I'm talking about? And when I say sacrificing, it ain't all, you know, 
they they can murder you and all that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? You know, sacrifices, they throw you under the bus. They they spit negative words over you. You know what I'm talking about? They they spread gossip. They lie on you. You know what I'm talking about? But then they rely on you. You know what I'm talking about? Because you are a child of God. She's a child of God. He's a child of God. You's a child of God. They rely on that good heart of yours to be forgiven of the evil that they've done to you. But this is the part that, you know, they keep out. Once you've forgiven them, you don't have to be still dealing with them. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. That's why he made you to be separate. You know what I'm talking about? So that you can continue on the mission that he has you on. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Says, no refuge will remain for the shepherds, nor escape for the lords of flocks. Hark the cry of the shepherds and the wails of the lords of flocks, for the Lord is dispoling their pasture and the, their Peaceful foes are devastated because of the fierce anger of the Lord. You know, they're peaceful foes. That's when they get you cornered off into, you know, where nobody else really can see what's going on. You know what I'm talking about? And then they get to manipulating you spiritually. You know what I'm talking about? Then they get to manipulating you mentally, you know, until they can put their hands on you. You know what I'm talking about? So then they can manipulate you physically. You talking about? And if you don't allow them to do what they want to you, then that's when they'll manipulate you emotionally. So now you sensitive in the spirit. You talking about? Now they got you emotional. These are all tactics of that you know, MK Ultra deal. You know talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. To break you. You know what I'm talking about? But they didn't make you. God is our glue. You know what I'm talking about? He is unbreakable. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And, you know, these are true facts. No. Yes, Lord Jesus. Let me say this. Like the lion that has left his covert, for their land has become a waste because of the sword of the oppressor. And because of his fierce anger, you know, our Father God will put our enemies in the hands of their enemies. You know, I've been seeing a lot of videos and carrying on. You know, talking about judges killing themselves because they're getting caught up. You know, talking about, you know, the last one, the, the feds was going to go serve him a warrant, and he he got wind that they was coming, and he took himself out. He was his own worst enemy. You know what I'm talking about? Had another one where <laughs> two partner police, you know what I'm talking about, was cheating with each other. You know what I'm talking about? And I, I think it was the wife that found out and the partner of the other cop that was cheating, that, that was doing the cheating, she went and killed the wife because she found out that they was cheating with each other. And attempted to cover it up because they the police. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, it's a lot of sick things going on in this here world. And people misrepresenting their positions. You know talking about? The positions that they were blessed with. They messing up their blessings to do evil things. You know talking about? That's the difference between good and bad. You know, I, I asked a question to a detective that works on the gang squad. I said, do you think I should have taken this position that was offered to me? And he gave me a, a very good answer to that question. I'm talking about, he said, yes, because if you were called to do that, you know, you are the type of person that if you see these type of things going on, you going to do something about it. You're going to say something about it. And I said, you know, 
me knowing the old me. You know what I'm talking about? From when I was younger, teenager, when I first had the thought that I wanted to be a bounty hunter, you know what I'm talking about? I was like, man, this would be a whole training day situation. But now I know what I know, you know what I'm talking about? It's like, would I be able to, you know, handle that and not say something about it? You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm saying something about it now and I'm not doing it. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, this is authentic or nothing. You know, so those joints, they got mad at me because I didn't join with them because, you know, they were doing wrong and they wanted me to be a part of it. And, you know, this would be a whole different situation right now to this day. You know what I'm talking about? He says over here in Jeremiah 27 on verse 4. Give them this charge for their masters. Give them this charge. <laughs> we serve an amazing God. Listen. It says, and like I say, ain't all of them ain't bad. It, it's some corrupt ones, but all of them ain't bad. They just like you and me. You know what I'm talking about? They want to go home to their family. They want to live their lives. You know what I'm you know, it's in all fashions and walks of life, you got bad apples. You know what I'm talking about? In everything. You know, that's what the devil brings. You know what I'm talking about? That good, that bad. You know what I'm talking about? It says, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, this is what you shall say to your masters. It is I who, by my great power and my outstretched arm, have made the earth with the men and the animals that are on the earth. And I give it to whomever it seems right to me. So, you know, your destiny is what seems right to him. He give it to you. Anyone attempting to block it or stop it, we cancel, denounce, and rebuke that giant. You dumb. Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, it says, Now I have given all these lands into the hands of King Nebuchadnezzar. Now, Nebuchadnezzar, he was a joint as well. But he used Nebuchadnezzar. For his greater plan. You know what I'm talking about? So he had him this land. In order for him to wipe it clean. And give it back to his clan. You know what I'm talking about? Yes Lord Jesus. Two birds with one stone. You know what I'm talking about? Yes Lord. Says. The king of Babylon. My servant. And I have given him. Also. The beast of the field to serve him. You see, Nebuchadnezzar got you know too big for his britches. That's why he says, "Remain humble." You know what I'm talking about no matter how much he blesses you. You know what I'm talking about remain obedient, no matter how much power you think you got. You know what I'm talking about. See, the little bit of power these joints got. Talking about, some, I'm in this position. And I'm in that position. You know what I'm talking about that ain't nothing. You know what I'm talking about. It is nothing to God. Yes, Lord. And they hate to hear you saying stuff like that, but, but it's the truth. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. It says, All the nations shall serve him and his son and his grandson until the time of his own land comes. Until the time that his own land comes. Because, see, he already knew that some evil people were going to come through you talking about, and corrupt things there. So he's going to clean out the land and give it to his clan. You're talking about? Yes, Lord. Then may nations and great kings shall make him their slave. 
hand the enemies into the hands of their enemies. You come up. Says, but if any nation or kingdom will not serve this Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and put its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon, I will punish that nation with the sword, with famine, and with pestilence, says the Lord, until I have consumed it by his hand. You talking about? See, he had plans for those people. You talking about? To be the ones to revolt. You talking about? You see, they had to put themselves under that yoke until the time had came for him to have his master plan, his will be done. You talking about? For that grandson. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. He says, so do not listen to your prophets, your diviners, your dreamers, your soul says, or your sorcerers who are saying to you, you shall. Yeah, we running that joint around this corner right here. You're about. Not serve the king of Babylon. For it is a lie which they are prophesying to you with the result that you will be removed far from your land with the results that you, you talking about, will be removed from your promises. That's what they do those things for. They go to these witch doctors. They go to these sorcerers. They go to these diviners to find out is how, how they can stop God's will. You know, people like that are mentally ill. Try to, you know, forgive me, Lord. Try. People are mentally ill in attempt to stop God's will for another person. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Ooh. He said, and I will drive you out. And you will perish. That's what they, they, they feel like, you know, they, they, they could trick God into driving you out of the position that he wants you in. Out of your marriage, out of your career, out of your education, out of your good spirits. You know what I'm talking about? But it ain't happening, Jack. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. It says, but any nation which will bring its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, I will leave on its own land. It's his will will be done. You talking about? Yes, Lord. Says, to till it and to dwell there, says the Lord. Case closed. <laughs> Yes, Lord Jesus. We serve an amazing God. You talking about? Yes, Lord. And before I go, you already know. You talking about? My baby and our babies. You talking about? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love y'all. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. To all y'all that came, all two of y'all joints. <laughs> Yes, Lord Jesus, y'all had full reign. Y'all didn't get distracted by who was up in here and none of that stuff. You talking about? Y'all didn't get distracted from the words that you heard. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, because you know I show you where I'm at. You can always go back and reference that and get that message for yourself. You talking about? And put it in how it reflects into your life, into your life. I'm talking about, that's what I do with mine. It, it, that reflects into my life in some way or another. You know talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, this here is authentic or nothing. And we are in these scripts. You know talking about? We are nothing but a rerun. You know talking about? That's why the evil people come and they want to keep bringing up your past because they know that we are reruns. So they want to keep you in a constant cycle instead of going forward to the end of your tape you know what I'm talking about yes lord jesus so you can start over then after you didn't hit the tune from coming out the womb you know what I'm talking about 
Yes, Lord Jesus. If you catch what I'm saying, you're talking about he wants you to live your life going forward. You know, if you see my hand, the clock goes this away. You know what I'm talking about? Anybody attempting to have you going this away, that's the devil. And you need to chop, block. You know what I'm talking about? Get on about. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Because we going that away. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. His ears are thinking or nothing. You know what I'm talking about? And you know, the way he be hitting me and he have it coming out of me, you know what I'm talking about? The way he be giving it to me. I can't help but to laugh, you know what I'm talking about? I can't. Because, you know, he is funny. You know what I'm talking about? He is extremely funny. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. <laughs> you know. He wants us to be joyous. So be happy. You know what I'm talking about? And keep coming back. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't one of them joints. You know what I'm talking about? I want to go viral or none of that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? You know, when I do monetize any of this stuff, you know what I'm talking about? It's going to be off of YouTube, off of TikTok. You know what I'm talking about? It's not going to be off of the sweat, blood, and tears of my peers. You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm no better than you. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. I don't I don't see myself that way. You know what I'm talking about? I want us all to win. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. This here is authentic or nothing. You know what I'm talking about? You can come help me one day. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. It's like, you know, if I see anything right now that helped you, you know what I'm talking about? My job is through, it's complete. I can go to sleep. You know what I'm talking about? Peacefully. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I can't make this job up. You talking about wouldn't even attempt to, you know what I'm talking about? Because you know it's too real. You know what I'm talking about? We love truth. We love justice. You know what I'm talking about? People think that, oh, it's just us. We are the majority with the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. <laughs> no. You know what I'm talking about? Because see, I, I give you a, a quick explanation if 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 I can. You know, back in the 90s, well, 1988, I made a tape, and it was off of a, a Teddy Graham, uh, I was going to say Teddy Graham, a Teddy, <laughs> a Teddy Pendergrass instrumental. You talking about, and this is in 1988 now, I had older cousins that I hung around, you know what I'm talking about? They were teenagers and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? They driving cars and different things like that. You know what I'm talking about? So when I made that tape, it was intended to be the opposite of a Ice Cube song. You know what I'm talking about? And he had a song called A Good Day. You know what I'm talking about? And I made a song called A Bad Day. And it was about, it was a storytelling song. You know what I'm talking about? It was about a robber slash murderer slash, you know, dope dealer, whatever, you know what I'm saying, having a bad day. You know what I'm talking about? And they used to ride around in the neighborhood we grew up in, you know what I'm talking about, bumping me. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, a lot of people start, you know, you're like, oh, man, that's young T right there. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm like, you know, okay, cool, whatever, you know what I'm saying? These judges know who I am, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know what I'm talking about? And I've always been like that, you know what I'm talking about? So, you know, uh, other people caught wind. And as I was growing up, you know what I'm talking about, getting to school, I met this one young dude, you know what I'm talking about? And me and him started being cool, you know what I'm talking about? And then we ended up meeting wax dummy you know what I'm talking about and this is a, a studio that we went to you know what I'm talking about John Mitchell studio you know what I'm talking about and he was Twister's DJ I don't know if he still is or not because I you know I stopped paying attention you know what I'm talking about and you know but we had him before Twister you know what I'm talking about and you know we made a couple of albums 
And then I started seeing, you know, that my rap partner was going into dark arts. I didn't know. I wasn't, you know, up on that because I don't study none of that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? With dark arts and all that, you know, voodoo, voodoo, carrying on crap. You know what I'm talking about? So we, me and other members of that group, you know what I'm talking about? We were pretty much sitting ducks. He is about to, you know, sacrifice us to be famous. You know what I'm talking about? And we didn't know. You know what I'm talking about? God helped us. You know what I'm talking about? He helped us. I seen the deception. I ended up getting into a bad accident. You know what I'm talking about? In 97. You know what I'm talking about? And this was after our third album. You know what I'm talking about? We had went nationwide off the first joint. You know what I'm talking about? So, I'm like, man, you know, I'm, I'm attempting to piece my life back together. You know what I'm talking about? Because I had a lot of stuff going on at that time. You know what I'm talking about? Even still as a teenager, you know what I'm talking about? I had to do grown man things around my household. You know what I'm talking about? So, I'm like, okay, Sony tripped out. You know what I'm talking about? I thought they tripped out. We, we I'm one of the original RMF. You know what I'm talking about? If you ever heard of them. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and, <clears throat> I thought Sony was tripping out. You know what I'm talking about? Because, when, we got endorsed by Coke. You know what I'm talking about? They paid us. I'm talking about. So I'm like, okay, all right, cool. We got these shows booked to do or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Just some little stuff around. You know what I'm talking about? So the the deal with Sony was for more money. You know what I'm talking about? So I got to moving around because I'm like, man, I'm, I was doing the most at that time. Like I said, I'm a teenager then. You know what I'm talking about? Doing the most. So I'm ripping back and back and forth up the road, you know what I'm talking about? And I happen to be going on my way down south. And I, I got a video explaining some of this, you know what I'm talking about? I, I look up at a billboard, you know what I'm talking about? I'm high, but I'm like, hold on, that joint look like me. You know what I'm talking about? So the joint, what they did was cut a back deal. You know what I'm talking about? And then they messed over the money. Years and years later, about eight years ago, I was down in Chicago getting some gas in my truck. <laughs> you talking about some joints pulled up in a minivan? You talking about? And they they coming to collect that money. Cause see, them eight years ago, the joint I think it was eight, eight seven seven eight years ago. My ex rap partner heard that I was in town. And I was there to move my little sister out to Colorado. You know what I'm talking about? So, the joint came and was like, sent a message to me. Oh, man, get up with me. Get up with me. This and that and the third. So, I'm like, okay. You know, I'm in the middle of transitioning to be on this walk that I'm on. You know what I'm talking about? So, this is how people will manipulate you about you having a good heart and forgiveness. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm like, okay, I go check the joint out. He said something that that didn't sound right to me. He said that one of my people said that if we gave them this amount of money, that they'd do a feature on us and we'd do a revival album and do this and that and the third. So I said, hold on, I'm gonna be here for a few days. You know what I'm talking about? So let, let me get back with you on that, cause plus I got this going on and that going on over here. You know what I'm talking about? It's not, my, my recycling business was moving, booming and growing strong. You know what I'm talking about? Plus, I was doing my roofing jobs and stuff, too. So, I made a few calls. And come to find out, everything that joint said was a lie. So, I didn't reply. I click. You know what I'm talking about? Call up my other cousin. You know what I'm talking about? I said, man, you ain't going to believe this joint. You know what I'm talking about? So, I leave. I go back to handling my business, doing what I'm doing. I'm legit, too legit to quit. You know what I'm talking about? Next thing I know, about a few weeks, almost a month later, his stepdaughter ended up in a bad car accident, and she didn't make it out. He joined up with Ranch World out east. You know what I'm talking about? East Coast. You know what I'm talking about? 
Raunch world. You know what I'm talking about? All that satanic junk. Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, another member of the group had escaped as well. You know what I'm talking about? And we ended up running across each other, you know what I'm talking about, on Facebook. So we chopped it up and we spoke about some of the things that happened. He ended up in a bad car accident. You, you tell me that this, this was accidents. You talking about, you know, the joint, what he wanted to do was, oh, yeah, because this is what he did with his stepdaughter. Oh, yeah, we miss her, this and that and the third. Here, 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 buy my new album. Y'all ever seen that play out before somewhere? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. Just like I told d mate you know what I'm talking about? When I was down in Missouri, he recognized who I was. He was, oh, man, we was at the studio. I'm talking about we was putting together Illinois studio because, you know, I, I love music. You know what I'm talking about? So we made a studio called Illinois. You know what I'm talking about? He, he said, man, jump on the track with me. You know what I'm talking about? So I got on the track with him, but there were stipulations about that. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> and I broke it down to him like this. You're going to have to give me bail money. And he looked at me crazy. You know what I'm talking about? And I said, yeah, you're going to have to give me bail money. He said, well, what you need bail money for? You in trouble or something? You know what I'm saying? I said, no. But once I leave here from doing this track with you, you're going to do what it do on your end, and I'm going to do what it do on my end. And ain't no telling what type of beef that you gonna be in. So now the next time, you know, I come around, people gonna think that we still together. I might not be here for years. You know what I'm talking about? I might not talk to you ever again. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, I'm gonna need some bail money, you know, something right now. So I can go on about my business. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And this is in good faith that don't nothing happen. You know what I'm talking about? So he broke me off. Said, okay. Did get money. You know what I'm talking about? And that was in 2012. You know what I'm talking about? It don't have a date on it. So, you know, people will still think that, you know, it was brand new. Other than, you know, people doing a lot of streaming now. And part of my verse was saying, you know, about me slanging CDs. You know, we had dude, Gilly the Kid. You know what I'm talking about? Man, who talking about saying some CDs? You know Man, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, you see how recent that was. You know what I'm talking about? That was just a few years back. Didn't know that that track was, you know, a decade old already. You know what I'm talking about? That was somebody else attempting to re-push that. You know what I'm talking about? You see, <clears throat> you'll have things like that when you are in that industry, you know, where, you know, they don't want to let you go. They hold on to you. You know what I'm talking about? And this, you you will still think that that's what I was on. You know what I'm talking about? I had moved on. I done started a ministry. I done started a little business. You know what I'm saying? A couple different little businesses. You know what I'm talking about? You know, they want to keep you pressed in one genre that they can control you in. You know what I'm talking about? But the way God sets his people up, we do multiple things. You know what I'm And those who use their gifts for good and not for evil will see longevity. They will see the fruits of their labors. You know what I'm And that's what they hate. They don't want to see that if they can't control it. You know what I'm That burns them up. You know what I'm That's why they always attempted to block us, stop us. You know what I'm Just like I told my very special person, you know what I'm you know, you look better than Beyonce. <laughs> you talking about? I love you, baby. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You don't need no makeup, but you know, if that's what you like, that's what you like. You talking about? If it make you feel better, that's the only thing I care about. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Other than that, I love you inside and out. I love that heart. You talking about? 
Yes, Lord. See, he is authentic for nothing. And, I, I, you know, now that was about 10 more minutes, 10, 15 more minutes you're talking about. So you did push me to a whole buck and some change. You know what I'm talking about? So I thank you, Elaine. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. He is authentic for nothing. And I'm going to holler at y'all, Johnson. Later on.